Tell me if this voice sounds familiar. Sweet Lion of Zion! What about this one? In brightest day, in blackest night. Okay, you definitely know this one. Fifty years have passed, and I do not age. We could easily keep going through his 300 other characters, but let's just cut to the chase and meet the man behind the voice. This is Phil Lamar, and he's a voice actor. I'd say the ones that I'm probably best known for. Hermes Conrad, certified bureaucrat from the show Futurama. I didn't Brick Cowl of Moscow! Virgil. Virgil Hawkins, a.k.a. Static Shock from Static Shock. John Stewart, Green Lantern from Black Justice League. No evil shall escape my sight. Ollie Williams, the weatherman from Family Guy. Ollie Williams has the story. Ollie? I'm at the wrong airport! Oops, well, thanks, Ollie. Wilt from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. One of my favorites is Dracula from Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. And of course, the samurai known as Jack from the cities of the same name. He who wears a mask cannot see what lies within himself. When I was working on Pulp Fiction. Wait, you were in Pulp Fiction? Of course. Yeah. Here, let me jog your memory. Marvin. Marvin. Marvin! I'd knock that shit off if I was you. Oh, you're Marvin. And I was one of the original cast members on uh, Fox's Mad TV. No way, I love Mad TV. Then you must have been a 14-year-old boy in the 90s. Very funny, Phil. Anyway, you were saying? With Samurai Jack, I felt there should be some tie to his roots. So it was a very light Japanese accent on English. We began to refer to as a young Asian Clint Eastwood voice. And Hermes from Futurama, where did that voice come from? When I first started out doing the Jamaican accent for Hermes, he was pretty much a heavy patois. And it, it muddied up the comedy. So, eventually, your Hermes accent got pulled back, which is a lot easier to understand. What about Jon Stewart from Justice League? To me, if you've got a chest this big, you got to have a deep voice. My name is Jon Stewart, Green Lantern of Sector 2814. And how about Static Shock? That voice was basically just myself at 14. It was just that idea of, you know, a young kid, you know, who's a responsible guy, but, you know, he just happens to have electrical powers. And to me, that is the character I relate to the most. You know, Static is just, you know, me. The differences between stage, film, voice acting are really technical. If that plane leaves and you're not on it, you're gonna regret it. One of the benefits we have in animation is... I can play this guy. And I can also play this guy. You'll see what I'm talking about. Just right there in the same day, same room, same microphone. You know, because that's why we got into it, is to play characters. You will bow before the con. 